hello friends my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to explore how we can handle uh, exception while executing the asynchronous request using uh, completable future API so let's go through this slide uh, for error handling in a chain of asynchronous computation steps throw catch EDM had to be adapted in the similar fashion instead of catching an exception in a syntactic block the completable future class allows you to handle it in a, a special handle method this method receives two parameters so a uh, result of computation if it finished successfully and the exception thrown if some computation step did not complete normally so basically here we'll see how we can handle exception using uh, handle method which is available in uh, completable future so here is the eclipse let's go through and try to understand this this through an example so I'm going to call a method completable future and just I'm going to use method supply async which we have been using from last few videos now here this text supplier as an argument so supplier is a functional interface so you can define a lambda expression for this right so let's define a lambda expression for this now if lambda contains more than one statement then you need to uh, specify the open and curly open and close curly bracket so that I have done and here basically I am going to take an input from the keyboard like let's say we are taking name as an argument so initially I have assigned name with some parameter right so let's say name I am going to assign shown right and uh, here I'm checking if name uh, equal to null okay name is null then we are trying to throw some exception so let's throw runtime exception throw new I would say runtime exception so runtime exception has a lot of constructor so let's go for this constructor which accepts a string as an argument and here uh, I would like to specify a message computation error sorry okay and if name is coming with some value then what I want I want to return uh, a string I mean greeting a string like hello comma and name of the person right sorry now uh, now this uh, method is ending over here so let's call a uh, method is called handle so here is the handle method which accepts by function as an argument so here I am going to define this by function as a lambda expression so first parameter is nothing uh, but s and t so so we are going to specify two input parameter and here what I am checking if s uh, not equal to null just I'm going to apply ternary operator then what I'm saying return is uh, sorry question mark you need to specify question mark for ternary operator return is else return something I string hello stranger Hello stranger, right? So very simple use case, and return type of this we can store in some local variable. 
so that is called let's say this local variable name is compl completable future and we'll try to get the result from the computable future and let's try to call get method as we know that get method throws some exception right execution exception as well as interrupted exception just declare these two exception right now if i run this program then let's see what output we are getting right saying that hello shown because we are specifying some name but if i specify null then what output will get so this will go inside this so this is rather throwing runtime exception handle method here what that will do that will check input this input is null at, at this time so instead of throwing this error that will just print hello stranger that's the a huge case of handle method right so saying that hello stranger instead of throwing this exception so how gracefully you can handle exception using handle method right but in some of the scenario if you don't want to i mean uh, substitute uh, right this error with uh, some kind of uh, a string like hello stranger in this case then in normal fashion also you can execute this code so let's make another copy of this client program and i'm going, going to specify com completable feature 2 and completable feature 2 here we don't i'm planning to i don't want to use handle handle method so remove it and in normal scenario now name is null so this will immediately this will throw this exception so so this is throwing uh, and you can see completion exception so entire stack is is getting printed so let's uh, try to handle this exception instead of just declaring right so declare inside that try catch right and here sorry now here instead of uh, and if I run again then we'll get the similar output right so this is getting printed and instead of entire stack trace you can print a simple error message as well you dot get message you have a method in exception class that is okay if I print so this is just printing the so this is this is just normally completing this uh, supply async method right so if, if some exception is throwing then i would like to print the exception else this is completing successfully then this will throw this will return the output if you supply some input like shown then you get the output so let me show you so now we are getting the hello shown if some exception is arising if name is coming with null then this will throw some uh, exception but in earlier case if name was coming with null then that was just saying uh this computation error was just substituting by this string that's the huge case of handle method so uh, so almost we have done with this video so this code i'm going to upload on the github so that you can download and run it in your local computer and github location i'm going to specify in the uh the video description itself so if you have any query then please do post uh, below to the uh, video itself and i will try my best to answer those queries before wrap up this video uh, if you i go to the slide then in this slide what i have discussed async methods so api in completable future class have two additional variants with the async postfix these methods are usually intended for the running a corresponding step of execution in another thread so if you go to the completable future class then here if you could press control o and here press star for wildcard searching and if you type a sync sorry is y n c sorry a sync a s y n c so control o star a s y n c so you see a lot of async methods so a lot of methods are post with async so basically these methods have been designed uh, to handle asynchronous requests so that's why they have given the but some of the api which does not post with the uh, async keyword right so you may see a lot of api some of the api which are not async with 
postfix async right so there are two variant right complete method there is no async keyword and uh, you have a then run no async postfix right so there are a lot of many more method which does not end with async keyword right but uh, whatever method you are looking over here uh, ending with the async keyword so those methods is basically intended intended to execute asynchronous uh, request the methods without the async postfix run the next execution stage using the calling thread right uh, a method which does not uh, uh, i mean uh, created with without uh, async uh, postfix keyword then that is running in the caller thread itself right the async method without the executor argument runs uh, a step using the common fork join pool implementation of executor that is accessed with the uh, fork join pool dot common pool method right so i i hope you are aware about the fork join common uh, pool uh, fork join pool so basically this basically this huge as a lot of i mean more than one thread at as, as a uh, as a pool of thread the async method with an executor argument runs a step using the past executor if you look into the api then a lot of api you can see over here which accepts uh executor framework executor as an argument last argument lot many api you'll see uh, executor as an argument like you can see so in this method run after either a sync executor is the last parameter here executor is the last parameter so this is i mean for every method most of the methods they have a lot of two or three variant one method does not take executor second uh, overloaded method takes executor as an argument and i mean in past video tutorial we have seen couple of example using executor as well so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial i'll come up come up with some new concept in java here